All right, hey guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing uh, kind of like a forest of trees with some interesting lines. So let's get going. All right, so for today's project, what you're gonna need is something to draw with and a piece of paper, and you're gonna hold that piece of paper horizontally. So over here, I have an example. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Um, right here and I pulled this off the internet and I thought it would be really cool to do because you're using different types of lines so let's get going so what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the tree trunks of a variety of heights of trees so let's just say maybe do like six or seven and then if we go with that uh, we should be good to go so maybe I'll do a tree right here okay maybe I'll do another tree maybe over here really close but it's okay hopefully it'll work another tree right here a little smaller a tree right there do a tree right here maybe there we are and then maybe another one right here all right we'll go with that many so far and we'll see what we got all right, so next step what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw the branches. But before we do that, let's try to figure out what colors we're gonna use. So you wanna do um, warm colors in particular for this project. Um, if you wanna do cool colors, you can. Let's make sure that the background is the opposite. So if you're gonna do cool colors and do warm in the background, if you're doing warm, then do cool colors in the background. So let me just figure out what colors I wanna do. I wanna do this. Um, let's see. This color looks neat. Do that. Am I centered? There you go, much better. Um, okay, where was I? Do this color right there. Let's do a bright color. This would be pretty cool for the background maybe. And one more. All right, so those are gonna be um, the the majority of what my tree colors are gonna be. So let's start off with the front ones first. I think maybe this one will be like maybe this shape. All right, pretty cool. So what you're gonna do right now is go on the tree trunk that you just made and I want you guys to just kind of circle uh, where that color is going to be. I'm trying to memorize where, what color it was. So I'm just going to try to circle the areas of what the tree is. So this one would be this over here. This next one would be this one. So let's do a tree. Maybe looks like that maybe. And it's going behind. So I want to make sure that my shape is behind the other ones. That's confusing to you. Um, think of something being in front versus behind. And this one will be a different shape. Let's make this one a little bit wider. There we are. Let's just make one ooh, this shape. And before I finish it, it was this color, right? Let's do one in front that's a different shape as well. Something that's more round. There we are. And the reason why I'm not completing it is because I have a little border on the edge. Because that's what I wanted. All right, so I have my trees. So the next step I'm gonna do is take my black marker and I'm gonna start doing different types of line design. So maybe for this back one, maybe I'll just go straight to the edge. So maybe I'll go like this, all the way to the back. That's a cool line pattern for tree branches pretty now I'll do the exact same thing on the other side I'm not trying to match them I'm just trying to evenly space them out all right that's pretty cool all right I'm gonna move on to the next one so maybe for this one this one splinters off and creates a couple tiny other branches of its own That'd be pretty neat. It's kind of like a normal tree. Just like so. All right. We are almost done with that one. Perfect. All right, let's do another one. Maybe one with uh, little circles at the end. That'd be pretty neat. And it doesn't spread out that much. So maybe like this. Cool. 
Nice. All right. It's gonna be a little bit harder to see these other ones. I'll try my best here, though. Okay. That was pretty cool. All right. Let's try to figure out another one. Hmm. What if I did one that kind of goes out a lot? Like so. And then once it goes out like this. Actually, no, that's a kind of cool pattern in itself, actually. Let's leave it like that. And then what I was trying to think of, let's put it over here. I know it's kind of close to it, but it's okay. What I was thinking of was kind of like branches on the end of it like this, like a lot. in my opinion all right let's do one more this one let's do curves that'd be pretty neat Okay, that was interesting. All right, next step. Why don't we color them in accordingly? All right, so this one was kind of like a darkest red. A red orange. Okay, let's shade that in. Just like so. Neat. All right, I think I'd use the same color over here. Great. Okay, let's do, let's put this away. I don't need that anymore. Um, I used this color. I think I used it over here, actually. Yep, and I did. There we are. It looks very, very nice. I'm liking it a lot. I think I only used that once. This one, did I use this color? Did I not? Well, I guess I didn't. Oh well. You know what I could use this for? I could probably use this for the ground or something. Actually, no, I lied. Let's do this one right here. Okay, that looks really neat. Um, I think I used it over here as well. Okay, and last color I did, this color, this kind of goldish color, goldish yellow. All right, now, like I said, I'm gonna do warm and cool colors opposite from each other, so why don't we pick this and this one to finish off our artwork. I think this will look good. Um, you know what, let me try to go a little bit darker. Um, why don't I do, harder choices here. Let's do this purple instead. And then for the blue, let's do this one instead. All right, so I'm gonna do, let's do something opposite. I'm gonna do, no, I'll, no, never mind. Never mind. Uh, let's just do this slate blue on the sky area. Just like so. Going off the edge a little bit, that's okay. as I push my crayon box aside. Okay, that was pretty neat. And then let's do this kind of purple color I chose. And let's put it down below. Yeah, I like the colors I chose. They're very subtle and they don't stand out too much in my picture. I am going out of the lines a little bit. I apologize. But this is actually pretty cool. I'm liking it a lot. All right, it looks pretty good so far. Um, you know what, I'll add another set of colors. Let's add this kind of purplish. Let's go the opposite direction. Hopefully it'll turn our picture, gives it more range. Yeah, there we go. It's looking a little better now, just by adding that second coat of a different shade of purple. 
That looks really nice. There we go. Let's just sheet it and press a little harder. I feel like pressing harder will make it look a tad bit better. All right, it's looking good. The only reason why it has like, this dark crease over here is because there's something on the other side of the page. Um, but I think I'm gonna call it done. I'm gonna try to outline it. Let's see if I have something to outline it with. Um, let's see, let's use this chisel tip and hopefully it'll make our picture look a little more professional. So I'm just gonna outline my border here. You don't need to though. I'm just doing it because I made a border on my actual paper. There we go. Other side. And this side as well. Oh. Okay. My picture is done. Almost. Let me try to add... Let's see. It's kind of like a teal color. Maybe this will change the sky a little bit more. For the better. All right, there we go. I didn't. I did like the slate blue on in the sky, but it wasn't doing it for me. So hopefully this will change it a little more for the better. All right, now I think I'm starting to like it. All right, so let's call that done, and it looks really good. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you guys do choose to choose this project. I hope you. I wish you guys luck, and that's it. So, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you next time. Bye.